money from miners isn't worth the heavy price of a fine for many liquor stores. Our policy is if you're under 35, we're going to check your ID. David Fertitta is the manager of Sam's Package in Beaumont. He says the store doesn't sell to anyone under the age of 21 because it's illegal. The Texas Alcoholic Beverage Commission is cracking down on stores that do. Where they actually use underage kids that are, that look their age. Kathy Bell Shakesnyder with Mothers Against Drunk Driving says young looking volunteers help in the sting operations. The TABC tells us two officers go with a minor to a store that sells liquor. The minor tries to buy alcohol using their real ID. If the clerk sells the alcohol to the minor, the store is immediately cited. It is truly up to the clerks to do their job. Uh, to ask for an ID. In Jefferson County, the TABC cited seven businesses with violations for selling liquor to minors. The 7-Eleven and the 7100 block of East Tex Freeway, the 7-Eleven and the 5500 block of Calder Road, the CVS and the 2700 block of Highway 365, the Step and Go and the 500 block of Meterland Avenue, the Wings to Go and the 4200 block of Dallin Road, the Express Mart and the 200 block of Dallin, and the Price Wise and the 100 block of Twin City Highway. The step and go in the 500 block of Nederland Avenue told us a minor used a legitimate looking fake ID, something Fertitta has also seen. I mean, it happens all the time. The IDs are fake or they belong to a brother or sister. That happens often. So often, Fertitta says store owners have to pay close attention. Stings are ongoing part of our business. Uh, TABC does them and uh, that's fine. Ensuring every business plays by the same rules, this business says it follows each day. In Jefferson County, Jessica Crawford, 6 News on Fox.